Guys, I want to show you what's inside this Triton 3D replacement spool for Stratasys machines. I'm excited to see I this. think you're going to like what this you is see. really, really. It's a huge amount of money that you're currently throwing in the trash. Hey, Rob, I got a special delivery from Triton 3D. What's that? Let's find out. Is that, is that cash? That's just cash. It's a huge amount of money. Why is there money in there, Rob? Because. Train 3D is going to save you a ton. How are they going to do that? How are they going to do that? Let's find out. Do you run Stratasys printers and you feel like you're overpaying for filament and materials? Well, you probably are. Imagine cutting those costs by up to 60% without changing anything in your workflow. Now that's exactly what Triton 3D does. Premium high-end polymers like Ultim and ASA and ABS in the familiar Stratasys cartridges unlocked by reverse engineered chips. So let me give you the backstory real quick. As far back as 2016, the guys over at 3DX Tech were asking themselves, what if you could use our filaments in the Stratasys machines, like our Ultim 9085, our Ultim 1010, or even our ABS, without having the proprietary locked-in overpriced material requirements. Because basically, at Stratasys, when you buy your filament from Stratasys, it comes in a canister with a chip and an amount on there, and once that volume amount runs out, you have to basically throw it out and you can't use anything other than what they provide. So you have no other options from the open material market. So they ended up actually successfully reverse engineering the EEPROM chips and they created Triton 3D. So you can now refill your Stratasys canisters with Triton 3D spools. No hacks, no firmware, no software. Just literally drop in a new chip and a new spool and your printer will recognize it like any other OEM cartridge. And yes, they've been doing this for many years now. So it's been proven in the field and it's trusted and relied upon by many companies all over the place. So which machines does this apply to? Basically every Stratasys machine that uses a sealed cartridge like this one or this one. So you've got dimension machines for ABS, ASA, breakaway support. The Fortis machines, of course, from the 250 to the 360, the 400, the 450, and the 900 MC, all of those, all MC. And then, of course, the legacy machines, the Titan and the Prodigy, and, of course, the Vantage systems. Dimension, by the way, you got the 768, the Elite, and the 1200 and 1200ES. Now, with the chips, the classic chips and the plus chips all work. So whether your printer's brand new or refurbished, the Triton 3D spools will pop right in. You basically just load them in the cartridge, swap out the chip, close it up, put it in, and hit print. Literally no extra work. So let me do a quick demo of this and just show you exactly what it is. Say you've got your canister here. Open it up, same screws and tabs and stuff that you're used to. And then inside here, you've got the little PTF feeding tube. And let's say we got some Ultim 9085. So inside the box, you will find a well-sealed spool of filament. And inside you will find, this is a tip. We'll actually talk about that here in just a minute. And the chip. So this is the chip that comes in a little ESD safe bag. So you literally just load your filament in. You got the little PTFE thing here. And then you're gonna close it back up, seal it back up. Here's the chip. So you just unscrew this chip, screw this chip in, and you're literally good to go. Not much work at all. So, I mean, right here, we've got the 9085, we've got Ultim 1010, we've even got uh, Natural ASA. So once you have it all in, the printer will automatically read the chip, it's gonna apply the correct profile, and it's gonna show the new material volume on the screen. So it's very similar to back in the day when inkjet printers finally got third-party refills. It's cheaper, the same if not better quality, and easy as pie. Pop it out, pop the new one in. Now. Train 3D covers everything from everyday prototyping to certified aerospace parts in regards to their materials. They carry ABS, ASA, polycarbonate, PCABS, and Nylon 12, as well as Ultim 9085 for the flame retardant lightweight components, and Ultim 1010 for autoclave ready tooling, medical fixtures, you name it, and ESD safe polycarbonate. Now each material comes in the 92 and 184 cubic inch formats matching exactly the Stratasys cartridge sizes. So you get the full capacity at aftermarket pricing, finally. 
And Triton 3D actually goes way beyond just the consumable materials, the new filaments, right? They've got replacement parts. They have all the consumables. The print tips, as you can see right here. So as you can see, this is the tip that goes into the machine of any Stratasys. And it's also the same design as our old HT2 printer, uh, rest in peace. Uh, and then of course you get the little labels in the back and it gives you the size and everything there. So, so they have all the replacement tips you could possibly need. So you can save a ton of money there. It's 40% less than OEM and it's got about the same life. And thanks to our nano adhesive, you can apply a coat of our nano, whoop, our nano adhesive, you can have had so many people call and say, oh dude, I slapped your nano on our Stratasys, our Fortis, and the build sheets, now I can do 20, 25 prints on a sheet instead of having to throw it away every time. So that's a huge bonus. If you get nanopolymer adhesive, available at visionminer.com slash adhesive or direct from Triton and 3DX Tech. They actually sell it too. But on top of that, if you do need a new build sheet, they've got those. So build sheets, printing tips, and then the materials and the chips to make them work, they've got what you need to literally, you could literally cut your costs in half like next week if you run Stratasys machines. Come on, it's ridiculous. Absolutely, just, just awesome. Now, if you really want to shed costs and ditch the material licenses entirely, that's why we built the 22 IDEX. Now this is an engineering grade, high temperature 3D printer and it accepts any filament, any 1.75 millimeter filament on the market. 3D XTech, Matter Hackers, Polymaker, any brand, open source, proprietary, zero chip restrictions, Ultim, Tech, carbon fiber nylons. If you can load it, you can print it on the 22 IDEX. Now let's go back. Train 3D. A couple questions we get occasionally in regards to Train is uh, like, oh, is this gonna avoid my Stratasys warranty? No, no, it's not. The US law protects your right to use third party supplies. Okay, but how's the print quality? The print quality is identical to OEM. The same resin sources and the same printer profile. So you get literally the same parts. Am I taking a legal risk? No, you're not. The chips are reverse engineered fully legally and the materials meet industry specs. How much for setup or how much effort does it take to set it up? Well, very, very little. You saw, you literally open the canister, load in the cartridge, load the filament through, install the new chip, seal it back up and throw it in and you're done. Most users run a successful first print on day one and immediately see the savings. Overall, switching to Triton 3D is basically the easiest way to reduce your operating expenses and your costs without changing anything in your workflow. We stock the full Triton 3D range on our website, nanopolymer adhesive as well, and of course the 22 IDEX if you wanna go a different path for an open material experience. So go ahead and visit visionminer.com to request samples, discuss your setup, or plan for an upgrade. Let's make your 3D printing more efficient and cost effective. So literally at the end of the day, you can save up to 60% off of all your consumables by not buying them from Stratasys. Instead, buy them at visionminer.com slash Triton 3D. We've got every material you see here with all the chips for the different machines, the tips, the build sheets, everything else. It stop overpaying on your Stratasys materials. That's one of the reasons we started this company. D Rob, did you say 60%? I did. Now, over a period of a year, that seemed like a lot of money. Uh, Am I wrong? Dude, the amount of money guys with Fortis machines are spending on material every month. It's out of control. It's ridiculous. It's out of control. Come on. You could hire a whole new person just by switching to Triton 3D. Is there justification for this being like 200 something bucks <sighs> well, for ABS in a can? I mean, we could make up justification and say, you know, our supply chain and you know supply lines have been locked in for many years and you'll get the consistency in the same thing that you've always gotten for the last 20 years on the same machine. Triton gets their raw material from the exact same sources. 3D Tech doesn't make this? Is Triton a sub completely separate company? No, no. I mean, they're they're under okay. one roof. They are a separate company, but they're under so one roof. So this stuff is still traceable. Even the replacement full trace is fully traceable. Full trace. Just Every, like the original. Everything you would expect with Stratasys spools, you literally get with this. Except for the Stratasys logo on the box that ships to you. So why why you're, aren't everyone buying it? You're this? paying more for the can. Do people not know about People this don't or know about it. That's the whole thing, is people literally just don't know it exists. I expect some of our subscribers want not to see these videos and be like, huh? And they'll go to the website and they'll see huh? So people also who use Stratasys seem to print in large volumes. 
They're going, going, going. A lot, a going. lot of the time, either massive batches or yeah. massive parts. Yeah, because yeah. you can trust the Stratasys machine to yeah. that extent. You're well, saying, well, I mean, yeah. they're known for being like the grossly overpriced they're, ABS machines. They're very good at doing what they've done for the last 30 years. Yeah. I'm not a fan. What other materials does Triton make? This is ABS, but what can you get from it? ABS, ESD ABS, carbon fiber ABS, ASA, PC ABS, PC, ESD PC, that's polycarbonate, Ultim 1010, Ultim 9085, and Ultim support material. Okay, so we should run the numbers and see what a roll of Stratasys 1010 costs and what they Triton got. You know what, if you go to the product page on our website, each one actually gives a comparison in pricing. So you can see they're all, it's 40 to 60% across the board. Yeah. Oh, so we have all that info on the site? Yep. What site? visionmind.com slash Triton 3D. Yep. Here, down below. Go to this and save a ton of money. Be the star of your company by being like, hey, guess what, management? How about I save you like thousands and thousands a month? Because I know my stuff. Triton 3D. You, know? you don't even need to give us credit. Don't Come even on. mention this video. Get a raise. You seen that? What is that? That's a tip. You know what that is in Stratasys land? What is that? It's a nozzle. Bullshit. Call them tips. It's a nozzle and a heat break in one, basically. Thanks, I hate it. How yeah. much is that tip? So they have all the range of tips, and from Stratasys, they're anywhere from $130 each all the way up to about $350 bucks each for the high temp materials like Entero or Ultim, as well as, and then there's some uh, that are around $250. So it depends what material you're printing. They have different tips for each material, the carbon fibers, et cetera, right? 130 to almost $400, 40% off that. If there's a way to save money on crap like this, use it. Finally, someone has come to their senses and made this stuff affordable and said, you know, I hate when you get locked in. Imagine if bamboo was like, you try to load a film in the ABS, I mean, in the AMS, and it was like, you don't have the chip, we're not printing it. Yeah. You have to use a bamboo material. Fuck. That. Yeah. And then you can take that another level and you just go buy a 22 IDAX and use any film that you want, have totally open settings, totally open hardware. Uh, you know, if it breaks down, you can fix it yourself. No service plans, all that jazz. I mean, there's a, that's a whole video in and of itself. Buy 22 IDAX. They're really good and you don't have to deal with this crap. You want to print PLA at 500 Celsius? Do it. You want to print with a two millimeter nozzle? You can do it. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. You want to print peak with a 0.1 nozzle? You can do it. We do it. You know where our materials are going? They're boldly going. So we're no Where man. no materials. No materials. Have gone before. Have gone before. <laughs> <laughs> Any Star Trek fans in the, in the audience? Uh, go ahead and uh, leave a like down there. Like for the Star Trek. No, like if DS9 is your favorite, because it, it should be DS9. Why aren't you buying this? What, what, how does this not make sense? It's the same thing. You get more freedom. And it costs a lot less money. Why are we not sold out of this? Go to the website visionminer.com slash triton 3d and use the code deep space nine <laughs> to get five percent off for the next week Ooh, That's actually my we'll do it i'm DS9. making that commitment ds9 we'll do DS, it five percent five percent off use the code ds9 we need to be i want to be sold out of these by the end of the week thank you very much for watching visionminer.com and while you're on our site check out the 22 idex a machine that can print any material that's ever been put in filament form with no problem. The final frontier of printers. Right, Rob? Yeah. All right. Ah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let us know if you got questions in the comments below or give us a phone call or an email. We love hearing from you. And we're here to consult you on your business, what you're doing with 3D printing and 3D scanning. Bye, everyone. Day.